Sports. Now in home design we are joined by Hamish and you've brought along a friend. I have, that's right, joining us is Mastercraft Kitchen's head designer Kristen Reed, and she's going to have a chat to us about how kitchens have evolved when they're open plan to suit our lifestyles. Excellent. Morning Kristen, nice to have you here. Morning, thank you. So what's important with a kitchen? You know, as Kiwis, you know, open plan kitchens are the norm in New Zealand and we're finding our clients, you know, they want to stay at home or and entertain from home, but they want to have a minimalist kitchen and still have all the you know more cons of you know being a bit of a home chef. Yeah, but you want to have all your guests gather round, don't you? You don't want to be out on the barbecue all the time, uh, but you want it to look nice and sleek. Exactly. Yeah. So we've got a few design details to show you that really embraces that. Exactly. So you can hide all your stuff. That's yes. what you're saying. Yes. Isn't it? yes. This is what I need in my kitchen. Excellent. You've got two kitchens to show us today. Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. So the first one is designed by Emma Matthews from Mastercraft Kitchens Kai Tyatt. This is an amazing kitchen because it's actually quite a small footprint and we have incorporated some really stunning looks. So it sits comfortably in a sophisticated living room, but it is a real chef's kitchen. So you say a small footprint, so it's like a, quite a small area. It looks huge. Yes, well, um, it's great cooking zones though. We've got a clear working triangle from the hob, sink and fridge in this image, you can see clearly, but we've actually got a separate bar zone, so a separate bench just for pouring drinks when entertaining. That's really nice. So you're not going to get under the chef's feet. Yes, and you see here we've actually got different beach top materials. We've got stainless steel, granite and a nice bamboo breakfast bar. So it's comfortable to sit at and I love that they've used a sustainable timber that they've actually um, used throughout the home on different bespoke furniture and vanities. Yeah, and I really love that, that bamboo bar being a little bit separate as well, sort of keeps all the junk from things off, off the actual bench top area. Yeah, so you might say, where's the scullery? This kitchen was not big enough for a walk-in scullery, but Emma has put one in anyway. anyway she's put um, some pocket doors to hide off a prep space. So everything, all these small appliances and microwave can be hidden behind closed doors, and there's even a sink in there for easy clean-up. All right, go Emma. She's my kind of gal, because that's exactly what I want. I love the stainless steel too. I've always been a huge fan. It looks sensational. Yeah, it looks really nice, doesn't it? It does. It's so serviceable as well. And having that, that little area where all your gear is, you don't have to have it on display, which I really like as well. Yeah. Mm. So you've got another one to show us? We do. Now this one is a bit more minimal minimalist again. Wow. Mm. Wow. Where's the <laughs> <Yeah>. stuff? <laughs> yeah, so this kitchen's actually so understated. We've got no handles, it's sim simplistic, uh, but it's a real entertainer's kitchen. There's more than meets the eye. So this is designed by Neil Hill from Mastercraft okay. Kitchens Whangarei. Um, so the client had a clear idea of what they wanted. They wanted joinery that looked like walls or hidden storage behind walls yeah. um, and a really um, good flow kitchen because it's actually a busy family that live here. It's not actually just a you know, a single couple that cooks once yeah. in a while. So you know what I really kitchen, like about that too, just dropping in here, is that the fact that you can get all the way around that um, that little bar area, that island, you can actually sit on the ends of it as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. super social seating, and I'll show you why that's really important in a minute. But you might have noticed in the last image, you know, we've got a clear fluid motion between the cooking zone, the hob, and mm -hmm. through to the open scullery, so you can keep all the mess in the back and have really easily accessed baking goods and cookbooks. Uh, so, but all of that stuff is hidden away from the eye, keeping the kitchen looking really minimalist. But still incredibly accessible as well. Exactly. Just beyond the island, this is where the walls open up and behind these pocket doors is an amazing utility cupboard. So you can make all your breakfast or a small snack without using the rest of the kitchen. And this being located next to the fridge and quite close to the breakfast bar means you're going to contain that prep space, that prep mess for just you know a small task like making a sandwich. And, and that this is wasn't perfect. wide was it? No, this it's is not very deep. No, it's not. It's actually the, the footprint of this kitchen is not huge, but they've utilised all the space by not having bulky walls and actually mm. just using joinery to create the division between the open scullery. This is my favourite part of the kitchen. Neil's designed a bar just steps away from the social island seating. So Ooh. we've got pocket doors hiding the wine fridges and the, you know all the wine bottles to keep a separate area to pour drinks away from the kitchen cook space and the cooking zone so that no one again is getting under the chef's feet. It's amazing. So that's actually in a hallway. It <gasps> is, yes. I want that. That is beautiful. I really <laughs> I like want that. that. I really want that. Hey, that has been gorgeous. Those kitchens have given me loads of inspiration for my rather cruddy kitchen. Now I better come and talk to you. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Hamish, thank you as well. Bring I the did experts. a lot. <laughs> now, for more kitchen inspiration, the Mastercraft Kitchens 2018 lookbook is out soon. You can go to the website on screen to pre-order your free copy.